Hi guys. So in this video, I will show you how to create a Windows Compute Engine instance in Google Cloud. So I'll log in to my Google Cloud console, and then I will navigate myself to Compute Engine and VM Instances. Once I'm into VM Instances tab, I'll click on Create Instance, and I will name this virtual machine as Windows Server. 001. I can optionally add tags. I'll create this instance in Iowa and the data center as central 1A. Okay. I'll go with E2 medium instance type. And the only thing what I'll change in this is the boot disk. Boot disk would be a Windows based image. And I'll select in this scenario Windows 2012 R2 and with a disk size of 50 GB over here. Okay, I won't change any service account thing. I won't, I'll can if, I, if I'm installing IIS on this virtual machine, then I'll say allow HTTP traffic, okay? And then I'll say create. I'm not changing anything in terms of networking, management, storage, disk, security. I'm keeping everything as default. I'm just creating a Windows virtual machine. Now this can take up to few minutes what I will do is I'll pause this video and I'll come back once this instance is up and running okay so my machine is created now I'll try to log in inside this virtual machine now, I have two options for doing that I can click on RDP and it will ask me to install this extension which is an RDP extension and a browser based session could would be established to connect to this virtual machine this is the first option I can go with okay and the second option is I use MSTSC to connect. So for using MSTSC, what you need to do is you need to first set a Windows password. Okay, so I'll click on this. I'll set a Windows password. Let the username be Tabir. And I'll set this as my username. And then it will ask me to set my password. Okay, so this is the default password it provides me. And I'll make a note of this. Okay, and I'd be using this password to log in inside my virtual machine okay so i'll go to my notepad and i'll just save this password okay i'll close this now to connect to this virtual machine i can use this ip address i would also make sure that i have a security group rule or a firewall rule created for 3389 which allows me to connect to this virtual machine okay and for doing that i'll go to the details of this virtual machine and i would just look for the firewall so over here this is my network interface card which is fine i haven't allowed http or https okay so by default in networking what happens is it doesn't show me firewall over here so whenever you create a compute engine instance uh, it's created in your default VPC and a default VPC has a default firewall associated to it So you know, I can go to VPC tab and I can search for firewall and I can see all the rules which are created So there is a rule Okay, over here. This is rule number four which says allow 3389 Okay for anywhere. So if I click on this rule and Check from where this 3389 is allowed. So it is allowed for everywhere okay so i'm not playing around with this rule right now i would be accepting the default which is allowed we would be talking about more about rules in vpc okay how to create in firewall and how to create firewall rules for now my motive is to log in inside this virtual machine and i'll say mhtsc and i'll open remote desktop client i'll put the public ip of this instance in remote desktop client okay and then I'll put my username and the password over here. Okay. And I will say, okay. And I would be able to connect to this version machine. And here we are. So I'm connected to a Windows 2012 R2 server. So in this lab, we learn how to create a compute engine Windows machine and we saw how to log in inside this virtual machine. This is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.